laser experiments stashed away beneath the University of Texas could soon help the country explore deep space. It's part of a new program alongside the Department of Defense. And they're using lasers to simulate cosmic rays to test electronics before they go to space. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen got an up close look at how it works. Donning special glasses, we entered a lab stashed away in the basement of UT. So, super dumb question. Sure. How do you make the laser to begin with? Is it just a light? You put a bunch of energy into a crystal that's in between those two mirrors, and that light starts to sort of leak out of the crystal. Laser plasma team lead Philip Frankie with Tau Systems is tasked with getting this energy from one end of the room to the other. You start with a really, really short laser pulse, something like 25 femtoseconds, which is 25 times 10 to the minus 15 seconds. The light passes through an intricate maze of mirrors and prisms. We blow it up to like, you know, a centimeter over there and eventually up to about five centimeters. All to end up here. Each of those clicks is the sound of light hitting a puff of gas and transforming into plasma. The, the laser strikes a gas jet, strips the electrons off of the Adam. Vice President Stephen Milton says these electrons are key. Similar energy is found in space. Particles strike the uh, devices and can upset them, can, can uh, damage them or, or make them not work. Knowing those particles can help them protect electronics on spaceships, which could help accelerate the space industry. You want to do something like AI in space, you really can't do that right now. You need to sit there and wait. And so the idea was to try to leapfrog that. The next great leap for mankind, and it's hidden in a beam of light. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. And for some insight, the state of Texas is spending big on space. The Texas Space Commission approves almost $50 million in grants for aerospace projects around the state. Some of the companies getting that money include Firefly Aerospace out of Cedar Park, Blue Origin operating in Van Horn and Star Lab Space in Houston. The money for these grants comes out of the Space Exploration and Aeronautics Research Fund, which was established back in 2023 alongside the Space Commission. The Commission's board plans to meet again next month to consider more grant applications.